E-Squad, you boy, back at it again with another dope, legendary video. And today, I'm here with another mobile detailing. If you're trying to start a mobile detailing business and you don't know what equipment to buy, or maybe you got caught up just like everybody else on watching these a mumble detailing that's been operating for years and to see all the equipment that they have and you think that you can walk you can start your own mobile detailing business because you don't have as many equipment as them now I'm gonna tell you this it's a myth that you put in your head in this video I'm about to show you four to five essentials that you need to have another for you to start your own mobile detailing business so with that being said you guys if you have not subscribed to this channel please do this right now and leave your notification bell on that way you can be the first one to know when we drop another bomb like this one you're about to watch right this second now why do i forget did i forget anything to say i don't know let's go you know what i just remembered that i haven't been working out for a long time man Obviously, you might be asking yourself, why am I just seeing the car, car? Well, obviously, another for you to start your mobile detailing business. You need to have a vehicle to drive. So it doesn't have to be a van like this. It could be the car that you're driving now. The only thing that you're gonna need is space to put water tank, which I'm gonna show you, which is the next essential things that you need for your mobile detailing business. And the rest of the stuff that I'm about to show you right now. So if you wanna know, all of the things that you need to start your own mobile detailing. Let's see the next thing I'm about to talk about. But right now, you need a car. It doesn't have to be a van. It can be anything else. I mean, it can even be a bike. I mean, I mean, as long as you can put all of the stuff you need and arrive to the client on time. I might just exaggerate this a little bit too much than I needed to, but you get the point I'm trying to say. You need a vehicle. Let's talk about the number two, the second thing you need to start your own mobile detailing business. Let's go. All right, I think you get the idea of what I'm trying to say, right? If you don't, you should get the next one. But anyway, you need a water tank. Now, a lot of you, I've seen a lot of YouTubers, car detailing YouTubers, who really think that they don't need no water for them to wash cars. Actually, I've had a couple customers that I've went to ask me, do I have water? And do I have, you know, a machine to shampoo the car? I, I post one of the texts of a client that I have that asked me if I have these equipments, as if they already have these things, you don't need to have it if you want to shampoo or wash their car. So what I'm going to say is, some customers might be okay with you using their water. But as far as pricing your product, your service, the way you're supposed to, I don't think you're gonna feel as comfortable because you, you, you're using the customer, the client, the consumer uh, a product in order for you to give them the service that you're offering. You get that idea what I'm trying to say. But it's always better to have your own water if you can. So this is the water tank that I use right here. You know, I strapped this. I, I have a lot of questions people asking me how do I secure my water tank? This is how I did it. Well, it wasn't the previous video that I did. But anyhow, you need a water tank. It doesn't have to be this big but it could be a 50 gallon, it could be a 100 a gallon of water. Anything that you could find to put water in there that can fit the space you have in the vehicle that you're using, it's a plus one. Let's go. All right, now we're in the back of the van. I think you should get the idea by now. Don't you? I think you do. Anyway, the next thing that I always talk about, which is the third thing, besides having a car and have a water tank, now, you need a generator, a source of power. Now, you might find another YouTuber or detailer tell you, you don't need a generator, man. You can use the power at the job site. Again, if you wanna give the best advice to anyone who's trying to start a mobile detailing business, tell them both sides of the story. Not every client is going to be okay with you using their power to give them the service. And if you do, I don't think you're gonna be as comfortable to charge them the price you're supposed to charge them because you use 
they power their product to give them the service. So it's always best to have your own source of power, which drop us to the generator, which is the third essential things you need to have in your event. So now having your generator gives you a big, big, big advantage that can short, you know, that can help you with the budget you have. I'm gonna show you why, I'm gonna tell you why. Now, this is the fourth thing that I was gonna talk about, but since we're talking about the generator, this one is electric pressure washer. So now I'm gonna talk about this right now. So remember, the third thing you need is a generator. So now, the reason why that I say generator is very essential and that can really help you with your budget for the next thing that you need, which is a pressure washer, is an electric pressure washer. So this is pretty much use power to be, you know, to be function. So to, to for you to, in order for you to use it, you need power. So pretty much the water goes back here. The garden hose goes in the back of this and you connect the gun. The cable is inside the vent where you can connect the gun. So you send the water to clean to rinse out the car. So now this one is cheaper than the Black Magic. You call this pressure washer is Greenworks. Just in case you want to know what it is. It's Greenworks 17 PSI, and I have that Black Magic, which is bigger and gives you 32 PSI. So now you have different bristles, different little tip on you know what you can use. But I use the wider uh, tip because you know you're using it for a car. Of course, you want to make sure you don't want to damage the paint. You don't want to get too close with the gun and the pen, which is you know for another you know video. But the point I'm trying to make is, if you have you an electric pressure washer. So you can use it with the generator. So as you know, you have power, you plug it to the generator and you have water holes in back of this, you have your gun, you're ready to go. So now if you wanna be a lot quicker, you wanna have a bigger pressure washer, you have bigger electric pressure washer, but it's gonna cost you way more money, but you have the regular pressure washer, which you use fuel, you put gasoline in there, you start it, which is gonna be a lot more noise. So now for those of you who has clients that has complaint with detailers comes in the neighborhood and make a lot of noise, maybe the generator making noise, the pressure washer making noise, that's way it can help you because this one is a lot more quieter than the regular Black Max that I have. So, uh, so now if you have your generator, you wanna power your vacuum, which is the fifth thing we're gonna talk about. Uh, you need you uh, a vacuum to vacuum, you know, to vacuum the car. So now, which is very essential very very important you can't tell me that you're detailing car without having a vacuum you might use a little brush a little rag and you bang the the, the, the mats it's not going to be as as clean or as simple it would if you were to use a vacuum you know what i'm talking about if you're a detailer you already know there's no point of debate anyhow so you need a generator you need a pressure washer you have an electric pressure washer option or the regular one that uses fuel you could use that but i would say if you can have you an electric small one as a backup pressure wash because things can always go wrong and one of the reasons why i bought this one is because just in case if i'm going to a neighborhood where i know the customers might have complaints with noise i can always switch from this because i have two set up in my vent inside where i have this regular one set up i don't have to unconnect anything i have a separate connection for that electric one so whenever i want to use it i plug in the back up there and i'm ready to go so which is amazing. There are a couple other things that you might really need to get your pressure wipe, to get your mobile detailing business going, but really these men five items are the most essential. Let me do a recap real quick before I move on, before I move forward. The very first thing you need, don't forget, you need a car, a way to get to the customers. The th second thing you need is a, a water tank where you can put water in your, you know, a, your vehicle to go provide a service. The next item that you need is a uh, hi. The next item you need is, you need is is a generator that can provide power that can connect your 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 vacuum, which is the next thing that you need, and your pressure washer. If you have an electric one, if you don't have an electric one, you can use a regular pressure washer that you use you know fuel, and then you balance your pressure washer, and you're ready to go. So pretty much, once you have these five items, you guys, you are ready to go so you just know that you need soap you need a little buckets and things like that which are little details that i think common sense should even you know should tell you that you need water to put soap and another for you to go you know um you know to shampoo the car and then to be able to rest it out and you know little things as far as little brushes to go between you know the rims which i'm gonna make another video about that but this video is mostly about you know for those of you who doesn't have a lot of money 
who's trying to start your mobile detailing business and want to know the most uh, effective that you can start your mobile detailing. A low budget uh, 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 guy who's trying to uh, start a mobile detailing business. Pretty much, you don't need to buy a vehicle just like I was just saying earlier. You can use the, the SIM card you have, maybe your dad old pickup truck or maybe a, a, a SUV with a three row seater, maybe with a two row seater where you could put the the, the second row down and you put like a little water tank in the back that's that doesn't have to be as big as this one and you can fit like a little portable generator and you could put like electrical pressure washer like this you can even slide this under your seats anywhere you want to put this you don't even need to have a big 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 vent really and you get your little you know couple soaps and buckets where you can put the water and stuff and you are ready to go until you can save your money to buy a bigger vent that way it could be more effective. You could wash one, uh, more cars on one go, on one leave. You don't have to keep going back to refill your tank. I mean, things like this could be very, very tedious, but you know, it's, it's, you have an option to you know, start to get your feet in the water, you get me? So now let me kind of show you a couple other things that I use. Uh, once again, you may not have all that money to spend into um, your mobile detailing business, but one of the things that I think it's very good that can help you make a lot more money is to have a, a, a polisher. A polisher helps you with compounding. So a lot of you may not really know what that means. So I think I'm gonna do another video talking about what is compounding, polishing, and clay bar. So now, so I have this product here um, that she used, which is, which is the Dural Action Cleaner Polisher, right? Which is uh, the, 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 the compound, so where you could compound the car if you have little scratches and and you want to bring you want to bring that beauty of the paint out i mean i'm going to talk about that in another video again if you are very interested let me know in the comment box below what is compounding what is polishing what is clay bar which again i will talk about this in another video i'll be promised but if you are really interested let me know that you're already interested so that way i can have more energy making this video but anyhow so having a polisher help you with pricing your product a little bit better and make way more money so with a regular wash people you know you might charge forty dollars forty five dollars fifty dollars it all depends on how far you have to drive to the customer how big is the vehicle but now when you have to you know compound the car if you know what you're doing or you have to polish the car you have to clay by the car that's where you jump into the hundred dollars prices so where just to compound the car and polishing clay bar that's easily a 150 200 job because this job is going to take you at least two three hours to get done the proper way so now I, I, now I have some other things that I use, so let me show you. Let me let me let me let me show you a closer shot. Let me give you a closer shot. So now, these are all of the products that I use. Um, they're all right here. I'm not really gonna talk about everything that I use because it's not about the product that I use. It's mostly about you know the essential things you need to start your mobile detailing. So I think in the video that I'm gonna be showing you how to clay bar, compound um, cars, and polishing. So I probably would go down with you know go down and showing you all the products yes. that I use. But it's very important you know exactly what product you're buying because some products are you know better than the other i mean if you are a detailer you will know what i'm talking about but um quickly let me kind of show you you know these are you know what i use right here i have a couple more i have a couple more in the bag and this big box right here and which i'm thinking the future i'll probably build like a shelf you know i have somebody built a shelf here for me where i could set these things because right now they're very unorganized I have way more products way more things than it seems to be but because they're all hiding they're not on site you can't really see everything that i have it's not about you know see what i have it's just about having it when i need it anyhow so um so as i was just talking about this is the 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 black max that i have and which i did a video um talking about all the price i think i would link it somewhere in this video here you can go check it out after you watch this video but you guys don't get caught up with you know, trying to have a million things in your van. As long as you have a water tank, you have a car, you have a pressure washer, and you have a generator where you can connect your vacuum, it would be cool. Another thing, you guys, that I think, if you start starting your mobile detailing business, I think you should really have is, uh, it's a extractor to help you ship with the car. So now, using extractor, you definitely gonna need, uh, you're going to need a, a generator where you can connect your your extractor to use it and now buying the extractor you have to be very careful with the amount of watts that it requires for the extractor to, to to function so that way when you buy it and you know exactly if it's going to fit your generator because the generator providing a certain amount of watts if your extractor requires way more watts of function than your generator can provide 
you will need to buy a different generator or a smaller pressure uh, um, extractor because it's not the generator is not strong enough to power the extractor you get that deal what i'm trying to say but anyhow you guys this is the vent that i've used um and my guys you know they they they, they come to you and get your detail you know easy with no issues and as you know we have talked about the bucket the greasers everything they have in there so if you're trying to start your mobile detailing business man don't get caught up with all these people man showing you all this thing that they have start with the smallest thing you have save up and work your way up so with that being said you guys this video coming to an end i didn't come here to talk too much but i came here to give you some knowledge to give you some ideas of what you can do to start your mobile detailing if you had liked this video you guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you have not done so and with that being said i catch you back in another video and your boy is out Bye -bye.